And what's going on, everybody? My ASVAB party people, hopefully you're having a good day today. Today, we are gonna be going over a slightly challenging question for arithmetic reasoning because we are gonna be blending two topics together. And those two topics, I'll reveal that after you pause the video and give it a shot. And before I get to the solution, as always, everybody, make sure to comment on this video on if it helped you and how it helped you. Because remember, we're always trying to expand and reach more people just like you. And you watching this video right now, you're the centerpiece. So please, at the end of the video, make sure to like, comment, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel to help us succeed so we can help more people like you succeed. All right, let's get to it, everybody. So first things first, we want to read the question first, as always. So let's read that question first. And it says, assuming the landscaper doesn't overlap or miss any spots while mowing. Okay, we, that's just a condition, you know, just information there. Here's the real question. How many minutes will it take to mow the entire property? So right there from the very get-go, we know that what we're looking for is a time value. So we are looking for the time, and it's gonna be blank minutes. So here's how we're gonna get this done. Right after reading the question and interpreting what it is that we wanna find, we're gonna move up to the information step by step, sentence by sentence, and just try to interpret what's going on. Don't focus on the numbers, but instead focus more on what the numbers mean. So for example, I don't wanna just read 400. I wanna read 400 square feet per minute. That's really what's more important than the 400. Because remember, the 400 could be 100, could be 57, could be 962, it could be a long decimal. So this doesn't matter. This doesn't matter until you understand what the wording means. I know that it's easier said than done, but remember, this needs to be part of your recurring practice if you really expect yourself to make progress day by day. So let's go ahead and get into it, my party people. We see that it says a landscaper uses a riding lawnmower that can cut grass at a rate. Ooh, that's a nice keyword. At a rate of 400 square feet per minute. So, okay, I can definitely identify that. I don't know how this is gonna be used yet, but we have a rate of 400 square feet per minute. All right, sweet. Now from there, let's keep it going here in the next sentence. They need to mow a rectangular property that measures 240 feet long by 180 feet wide. Now, if at this point you're thinking, hold on, coach, I see that we have a time that we're looking for, we have a rate given to us right here. Isn't this a distance rate time question? And well, you're not wrong. Yeah, this is a distance rate time question. But the confusing part might be, why are we talking about a rectangular property? Right? You know, there's a lot of confusing stuff happening here. But that's because this question blends two ideas. It's going to be blending distance rate time and area. Those are the two key concepts that we're gonna be blending together. So this is just a quick shout out to those of you in my program. If you're in my program, this will be arithmetic reasoning unit number for distance rate time, five. And then for area and perimeter, that's gonna be unit number eight. So right there, again, for those of you in my program, arithmetic reasoning unit number five, and unit number eight, that's where we cover each of those topics individually. And then in our practice test courses, you may see more questions like this one here, where again, we're blending those topics together. So don't forget to click the link that's probably gonna be up here or in my bio if you're watching on YouTube or TikTok. Make sure to click that link so you can raise your score and get that job you want. All right, so let's go ahead and erase this. And let me show you how to get this done. So here, Whoops, let's go ahead and let's say they need to mow the rectangular property. So that's a key right there. And it measures 240 feet long by 180 feet wide. All right, perfect. Assuming the landscaper doesn't overlap or miss any spots. So how am I supposed to figure this out? Well, like we said, this is a distance rate and time question. We are looking for time, we have the rate, well, then the next question is, what's the distance that we're covering? What's the distance? And the key that we can use here is this. Look at the rate. Remember that your rate is always going to be distance per time. So your rate is your feet squared. So that's what we're trying to accomplish. Feet squared over time, which is minutes. 
And again, you see your time right here, minutes. So the distance needs to be square feet. And what does square feet represent, my party people? If you've been to my classes before, you know what I'm talking about. This represents area. Square units always represent area. So with that, we want to find the area. The distance that we're looking for is going to be the area of the rectangle. And I think we know how to find the area of a rectangle, right? That's going to be length multiplied by width. Length times width. So with that, area equals 240 feet long multiplied by 180 feet wide. Multiply those to get that distance. So let's go ahead and put this right over here. 240 multiplied by 180. And I'll actually give you a nice hint here to speed this up. We can take these zeros out of the way and then just bring them back at the end. Let's just do 24 times 18 and bring those zeros back at the end. So 4 times 8, 32. 2 times 8 is 16. Carry the 3 is 19. Next up, we are going to be taking a look over here at the second row. Put a 0 so we can start right here. 4 times 1, 2 times 1. Add those together, and we are going to get 2, 3 for 13, and then 4. And then, like I said earlier, we'll just go ahead and bring those zeros back at the bottom. So it's going to be 43,200. That is the distance that we're trying to cover because this is 43,200 feet squared. And there we are. So the distance that we're covering again, 43,200 square feet. We have everything we need now to solve this problem, and we're good. I know it's a lengthy one, but I hope it's understandable. I hope, I truly hope that this is understandable. Let me get rid of this. You can rewind to see all that work. And now all we have to do is finish the setup. Distance equals rate times time. My distance is 43,200. Our rate is 400 feet squared per minute, multiplied by T, which will be the number of minutes. So all we need to do as our final step is divide both sides by 400, and we are good. Cancels out on the right side, and now we just have to figure out how many times 400 goes into 43,200, which is going to be a little easier than you might think, because we can take out those zeros as we divide. So it's really going to be 432 divided by 4. So let's do it. 4 goes into 432. How many times? Four goes into four one time. So that's gonna be a zero, drop that three. Four doesn't go into three, so that's gonna be zero. And then drop the two, four goes into 32, eight times. So the final time here, the time it'll take to mow this lawn will be time equals 108 minutes. And there we are, there we are, 108 minutes. Answer choice B. And what I really want you to do, my party people, is let me know in the comments. Did you get this right when you tried it out the first time? And if so, hey, great job. And if not, let me know if you understood the explanation and what was the most confusing part for you. Was it going to be the uh, distance rate time part, needing to find the area part, or which one? Go ahead, let me know in the chat box in the comments. That way I know that this is helping you succeed. And as always, don't forget, we do offer a full ASVAB program to help you with challenging questions just like this every single step of the way until you pass. Go ahead and click the link in my bio or you know, somewhere up here if you're on YouTube. That way you can see everything we offer and how we've helped over 3,000 students raise their scores and get the jobs they deserve. As always, my party people, I'm Coach Anderson. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.